All right, uh, welcome to list eight for Hort 226. We're starting today with plant number 85. This is Cedra, Cedrus Atlantica Glauca. Okay, so these are uh, blue Atlas cedars, and they're two very large specimens behind me. So uh, take a look at your slides to see some of the more up-close characteristics, but I wanted to, to uh, get, let you get a sense of how grand these can be uh, out in the landscape. Also, you may be able to see on these plants behind me, there's a bit of a brown cast over parts of the trees, and those are actually the male cones uh, that were produced in uh, late September, and they've already released uh, the vast majority of their pollen. Some of them are still hanging on, but in, in these blue atlas cedars, Cedrus atlantica, uh, the, uh, the, the male cones can be up to a couple of inches long, so they're, they're actually quite visible from far away, which is different than some of our other conifers. The easiest way to tell Cedrus atlantica glauca, which is a pretty common landscape plant for us, from Cedrus uh, deodora, the deodora cedar, which is uh, pretty common in a lot of places is one the color is uh, much bluer as you may suggest or may uh, guess from the the, the name glauca um, and also uh, up close when you look at the the needles are much shorter and they're more rigid in Cedrus atlantica than they are in Cedrus deodora which are, are much longer and they're more of a matte green but quite similar in a lot of their other characteristics and again take a look at your um, powerpoint slides for more detail on Cedrus atlantica glauca